Kruger, he joins us live right now. Now, Ryan, you covered this original murder a year ago. Yeah, and at the time, Ron and Aisha, Walton County investigators told us this case was more elaborate, more complex than anything they had worked before. And tonight we have learned that investigators believe that this brutal murder was tied to a statewide opioid empire. Crazy. This this is way out here in the middle of nowhere. This is supposed to be small town USA. A small town at the center of a massive investigation. The GBI, DEA, FBI, Secret Service, all these people were involved. It's a little more elaborate than what we're normally used to. Last April, the GBI dug up a body that had been wrapped in plastic and buried underneath this above ground swimming pool in Loganville. The victim, 25 year old Chase Loeffler, was reported missing a few weeks earlier. 22-year-olds Colby Waters and Jonathan Lester were soon arrested, but the full details of their brutal charges took nearly a year to uncover as investigators took down an alleged opioid crime ring. This week, the U.S. Attorney's Office indicted six people, including Waters and Lester, for making tens of thousands of fake Xanax pills a month. Soon, investigators say the group started making synthetic heroin, selling it on the dark web and throughout the state. Trying to avoid getting caught, authorities say the group of five men and one woman moved the drug house to every corner of our state. The plan worked for a couple years, but it started unraveling last April. And that brings us back to the murder victim, Loeffler. The Department of Justice says he was a suspected co-conspirator in the drug ring, and Waters and Lester beat him to death and buried him in Lester's backyard. And so they've been looking into this case for a right, long time. Right. What did the feds learn and what did you find out today about this? So they first kind of got suspicious a couple years ago, Aisha, when one of the suspects actually bought a commercial pill press. Oh. He had no kind of background in pharmaceuticals. Obviously, something was suspicious there. Yeah. The sad thing is someone had to lose their life before any arrest could come. All right. Thank you so much, Ryan. Yeah. Well, if you want to learn much more about this story, you can watch our entire award-winning investigation, The Triangle, right now on 11alive.com.